Hello Internet, Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I only paid... something for Trine. I got it as part of a Frozen Bite pack, not the humble bundle Frozen Bite pack, a, a different one. I don't know how much I paid for it. It was like a couple of bucks. Cheap, okay? Trine normally retails for $19.99. It's made by Frozen Bite, as I just mentioned, and it is a fantastic little throwback of a game. Memories flood back of the game Lost Vikings and other sort of co-op-ish games uh, of the of the day, even things like uh, A Boy and His Blob, things like that. Oh, man. Oh, awesome. Well, Trine is a very special game. Um, I've had some issues recording this game, so we're actually going to be uh, not quite seeing a fresh, inexperienced Big Dave playing through it, but we are going to jump in post-tutorial. Our three heroes, our wizard, our thief, and our warrior have met, and they are looking to unmeet because they have all been bound together by the Trine, the sacred magical object, the titular magical object, and uh, now they got to figure out how to get away from one another. Only one of them can be in the world at any given time. In the meantime, the other two are stuck within the Trine Crystal. So we will pick up the adventure as they try to figure out a way to get away from one another, to get unbound from the Trine and get back to their own business, because a very noble but dumb warrior, a ladies' man slash lech of a wizard and an attractive uh, nefarious thief do not a good team make. Well, in the case of the game trying they do, but uh, yeah. Alright guys, we're going to pick up the uh, the action here. Uh, this is the first level, I think, right after the tutorial. So, uh, yeah, I said tutor tutorial, tutorial, really, really fast and really, really weird. Alright, here we go guys, I will rejoin you in 3, 2, and 1... Okay guys, welcome to the beautiful, lush, and just wonderfully colorful world of Trine. So, as I said, we have three main characters, and here's our gimmick. As it says on the screen, change characters with one, there's our wizard, two, there's our thief, and three, there is our warrior. As you may imagine, each one has their own unique skill set, and we must utilize that skill set in order to conquer, well, whatever comes our way. In this case, we are in the catacombs attempting to find the skeleton of a being called the Guardian, which the wizard believes may help us free ourselves. So here we go. The main thing about Trine is it is a game of choice. It is a game of sort of doing things however you want to do them. Now, you can't always do things however you want, but very frequently you can. For instance, this puzzle right here. There's a few different things I could do here. To, uh, to change this puzzle, to solve it. I could just run up this with the thief and probably make it across. I could use the uh, I could use the warrior to weigh this down or start this moving like so. then hitch a little ride on it as it comes back up. All kinds of things. Do whatever you want. That's kind of the point of the game. And when you are faced with a choice where you have no choice, then you know, do the thing that uh, makes the most sense. Do the thing that won't get you killed. <laughs> they don't scare me. Hold on. Yes, the brave, if not stupid, warrior. Let's go ahead and sate his bloodlust here with a little bit of skeleton killing. Very nice. Oh, another skeleton. Give him the blade as well. Slight sort of a secret there. Find a way to reverse the spell, to undo the magic. The tomb of the Guardian of the Catacombs may have the answer, and it's not far away. Well, there you go, exposition, folks. So you'll notice I can't get out of here with either of my two main characters, or my two characters who I've tried, and the third. Yes, the thief does tend to jump the highest, as I've seemed to have note. The the uh, the warrior jumps almost as high. Eh, maybe they jump about the same. Whatever. So, uh, here, here we have it. We got some options. What options do we, what do we have? I mean, we could do a few... Well, I can't really see. I can only see one thing that I want to do. And, and that's the main thing. Do the thing that you want to do. If you have multiple choices, pick the one that you think is either easiest or most fun. In this case, it's a pretty simple case of drop thing and use it to jump. Nice and easy. 
I do often find myself when I see something that looks platformy-ish uh, going to the thief just because, well, she's the thief and she has the, the grappling hook and all that. Thief also shoots a bow, like so. As you saw, the wizard can manipulate objects. If there are no objects to manipulate, he can create them from thin air. Well, you can't really see my square there. Let's do it over here. Thin air. And I can then manipulate those. Yeah, that was even another option. I could have built a staircase, you know, instead of, uh, instead of just doing the jump. Hey, do what you want to do. Sort of shades of uh, Doc Clock and the Toasted Sandwich of Time in that way. Uh, solve the puzzles, huh, however you want, you know. No biggie, no big whoop. A lot of it is handheld and they give you the, uh, the exact way that they would uh, foresee you solving the puzzle. But a lot of times you have choice, especially later on. There seems to be a lot more choice involved. Skeletons cramping my style. And this tends to be one of those places where you really don't have a choice. I see a cracked wall and a mighty fist of stone. I think I'm going to manipulate that fist. To horrible effect. Come on. There we go. I finally got through it. There we go. All right. That was a bit of a ham-fisted attempt. Ah, pun. Oh, man. I love some puns. How about you guys? You guys like puns? Everybody likes puns, right? Or not. Hey, skeleton. You're resourceful climbing all the way over here. Only to meet your death. At the hands of the mighty warrior. Oh, you're stuck. Let me help you out. There we go. Now, when you get health... It does refill everyone's health. That's a nice, uh, nice little thing. You don't have to make sure to be on the correct person uh, when you pop a health pot or you find a, a health pot. Continuing on, platforming, platforming, such as trine. So here you see, obvious, um, we can go the more difficult route and do this little spinny platform thing, or we can just, yeah, swing. Can we do a Spider-Man? Can you can you change over? Let's see. Spider-Man. Oh yeah, Spider-Man action. Like it. Oh, that's just great. Shut up, wizard. You wuss. Says the warrior. And three hits to kill these skeletons, and the warrior basically just has a little three-hit combo kind of deal. Not changing the world. Oh, he's also got his shield. Perfect time to show that off. Look at that. A bit of combo action here. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, right in the head. Uh, yeah, so the thief. Something you got to watch out for with the thief is your line extends, and, and you can actually run into some trouble with that. So if I jump up and I, I set my grappling hook, I'm not going to immediately swing. Um, I, I may get low. Well, let me just show you what I'm talking about. So if I jump up and set my hook, I still end up hitting that, which I didn't want to do. So you got to kind of learn to manipulate the uh, the Y axis on your uh, on your grappling hook rope. Okay, so but there, man, the, the completionist in me wants to get up there, but the the time sensitive video host realizes that I cannot. Oh, goodness. To the warrior. And there is a lot of that. There's a lot of uh, just quick switches you have to do in order to uh, to combat uh, well, skeletons or to save yourself on a fall. Things like that. It's really, really cool stuff. Let's see. Can we... There we go. Almost like I meant to do it energy vial and again as you can see you know we had a couple of options here and we took one of them oh that was some precision shooting right there more oh <laughs> nice that skeleton got crushed all right moving forward a little platforming action here to your death sir and uh, here we go. Familiar puzzle. Again, we, we have uh, different... Well, we have a skeleton who's trying to kill us. Uh, but we have different options. How do you want to conquer it? Well, I'm just going to run up it with the thief and uh, jump over. Um, 
you don't always have to do things the uh, cool, complex way. Sometimes it's just simple and easy. Like that. Like that little bonus. Uh, so yeah, here, this is crying out for the wizard. Uh, yes, it is. So let's wizard it up. And such is trying. I mean, this is this is the game. This is what it is. It is uh, interesting puzzle solving. Yeah, what am I too heavy to? There we go. It's interesting puzzle solving. It is what character do I need in what time frame? You know, when do I need this character? And as you can see here, I didn't have to finish that platform. I could have just swapped over and made the swing. You know, and that's the really cool thing about trying. It doesn't restrict you. You know, do the thing that you want to do. Um, I mean. It doesn't restrict you. That's a misnomer. It does restrict you. Um, it, it restricts you in the sense that it, it at times, like this, for instance, it forces you to do one or the other uh, thing. I mean, you either fall into the spikes or you use the thief. Um, this, is, this is how it works. Um, there is no real secondary option in that particular scenario, at least not one that I can see. I guess you could make a box as the wizard and put that on the spikes, maybe? Yeah, sure. See, that could have worked. Even in a situation where I don't necessarily see another option, one is there. Pretty cool. Just a couple of seconds of thought. Oh, that was not good. And uh, you find a, an alternate means to beat a puzzle. Okay, that seems to be sealed off. I hear skeleton noises. Oh, I was going to be so proud of myself for that bit of platforming right there. Oh, that's a creaky old bridge. Checkpoints. Push a button. Pushing buttons is always good. And we open that door. And we got some skeletons. Come on, skeletons. You never... Yeah, there you go. I was going to say, skeletons never... Never spawn in one at a time. Or uh, one in a pack. Always multiples with the skeletons. Alright, well, let's see... Uh, like so. That works. So this is another option, another place we have a couple of options. We could grapple this with the, uh, with the thief. Or we can come down here and, uh, and get cute. Uh, right? We could kind of move this here and sort of pick this up and do this thing like this. And then jump over and spike myself. But there, you see right there, I mean, that's multiple ways to do that. And, and, and you know, how cool is that? Man, I'm no good with not getting hit by fireballs. There we go. All right. Oh, nice. I fell on that guy. That's awesome. All right, so we're going to have to wrap it up, guys. We are nearly out of time. It is Trine. Trine. Let's talk about Trine. What do we think about Trine? Well, I think Trine is a 5 out of 5. It is a fantastic puzzle platformer that challenges you in so many interesting ways. And uh, I have had a blast with this game. Um, I really didn't even regret having to replay a couple of things with this game because of some, uh, some weird issues. So uh, that says a lot. I will definitely continue to play this game. I've enjoyed trying. It is a hands-down five out of five bucks. Uh, and before we go, let me tell you one quick thing. It pays to be a fan of Big Dave is Cheap. And I don't just mean it pays as in the contests that we've already held, but I held a little bit of a, uh, a flash contest uh, with my last Space Marine video. During the course of the video, I was thinking of an 80s movie, but I couldn't remember the name of it. So I said in the comments, hey, what's the name of this 80s movie? And someone responded. And that person has won a copy of Trine. That is that is correct. They have won a copy of Trine. And this is what it is. This is how Big Dave is Cheap is going to run. When I think when I have the means and I think something is worth giving away, I will try to give it away. That's how I roll, as they say, as you kids say. Alright, guys. Stick around, there are prizes, but uh, most of all there's just there's just good games to be played and fun to be had. Hang out on the channel, check my stuff on TGN, even check my Rift stuff if you're a fan of that. Alright guys, I have been Big Dave, and until next time, take it easy.